So here is one of my better examples of machine quilting. It's called left-right flow, and the left side is linear, the way the left side of our brain is linear, and the right side is more loosey-goosey. And you will see that I have walk like an Egyptian going on down here and up here. And then let's come up and look at the words. Nope, can't get up there. I can come I, down. I can come up. I can come up. I just okay. need... Warning. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So here are the words up here which radiate out from the face. And... Um, Hang on. Okay. Can you show, highlight the faith words? I can't hold the camera, do you? Okay. So yep. there's what, balance. Here's balance. And here's breathe. And quiet. And I also wrote in family names on here. So somewhere on here are the names of our daughters. Great. And Which over here, really cool. over on here? my left, is create at the top. Yep. And, and faith. faith going slightly 45 degree angle. And nurture. Nurture is vertical. And then tension going down this way. And up at the very top it has soul, well, there, and there's grace, the sun. love, and the sun. Okay, this, this is based upon a labyrinth that I, I really enjoy walking a labyrinth. But we're particularly going to look at the words. Here's prayer. Hang on. There we go. That's very clear. Okay. Okay, and another word? Um, let's see. What do we have down here? Divine guidance. Wait, I have to find you. <laughs> oh, divine guidance. And grace might be easier to see. Can't yeah, we? yep. Okay. Now, the, the thing that happens um, is the words disappear, and we're going to talk about that again in, in just a second. But I was at Quilt Surface Design Symposium, and my teacher, Sue Benner, was the one who suggested I get a big old paintbrush, and the second paintbrush is even wider than this, and put paint on my paintbrush, and go like that on the surface of the quilt. So then you could see the words, and grace shows up, and all the words up here meet and pass, because that's what you do in a labyrinth. So it felt very scary to get paint on the paintbrush and paint the surface of my quilt, but it made them visible. And I will show you another quilt where you can't see the words. Okay, and live. This quilt is called Lazy Susan of Life. And down here we have acne movers because we've moved around a lot. We have a bowl of peas, bloom where you're planted, and that's a flat tire. <laughs> so up here you find the words. And I didn't use a paintbrush this time. Instead I uses, used a, an ink tense pencil to color it in. And that's what we're going to demonstrate in just a minute. So this little quilt is really fun. The curtain fabric was my mom's curtain fabric in the kitchen where I grew up, up in New Jersey. And somehow I ended up with some of it, which is very exciting. And um, my daughter said, looking at this, oh, that looks like the tablecloth that we had. So I got as close to the tablecloth as I could. And, oh, there are turkeys in here. There are ice cream sundaes and all kinds of things like friendship. Okay, so now we're going to get our ink tense pencil. I'm going to move this. And we're going to get our ink tense pencil. This little quilt 
has words that we can't see. It says, I am enough. Back in the day, these are sayings that I've said with friends. Now, the title of the quilt is Love in Action. Now, you haven't seen, oh, that's working, but it's not very well sharpened. You haven't seen what's on here. It's a lovely mailbox. Oh, yeah. I have to get it. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. And the reason why it's a mailbox and it says joy is that we have three daughters. When each of them went to college, my husband sent them a letter every Sunday. He sat down and wrote each of them a letter. What a great guy. And really... Great dad. Yeah, great dad. Now, that's So what Annabelle is doing is she's taking a pencil and coloring in the letters so that the writing is going to magically start showing up. And if you could see, and you can see the love pretty well, even before she colors it in. But the I am was kind of hard to see, and it's about to appear. There we go. There's the I and the dot, and here comes the N. Now, I actually am doing this on a hard surface. And so I'm practicing and testing to see how much pressure I want to put on my pencil. So I will do more of this later, but this is going to make it really pop. And I had put this in a, in a submitted it to a challenge from Mary Kerr, and I didn't have the letters standing out. So it didn't get chosen. So scribble with friends is another one of the sayings. Love is patient. Love is kind. Faith, hope, love. The greatest of these is love. 